Yes, uh, the question about Copenhagen in specific, uh, Ricky mentioned earlier that there's a big development pipeline on the other yeah. sector, if I understand correctly. Uh, and then uh, you just mentioned <coughs> that uh, it is supposed to be a big demand on residential. I'm still trying to figure out how you can squeeze more people in the old sector, which I would imagine has all these limitations for new development. So how do you see all these factors taking you know, uh, play? Uh, because it sounds to me like Copenhagen has a potential for growth. Um, the actual position of Copenhagen has changed with the breach that connects Marburg and all the regional kind of uh, affairs there. But there are trends that indicate growth. So as far as I'm concerned as a private investor, I say mm -hmm. perhaps that's the place to be. So can you elaborate a bit more as to Copenhagen growth factors and what we're really looking at? Well, in... in what happened, just to go back a little bit, uh, a, f a few years back, is actually that a decision was made to have the harbor of Copenhagen not longer being a fun functioning harbor. So basically what is happening is that everything has been moved out of the harbor area of the city center of Copenhagen. Uh, a lot of the heavy industry has actually been moved to, to Gothenburg. Um, and then we only have a little bit of industry left that is going to move out. What is happening in, the, in Copenhagen is that we are developing all the areas around the harbor area, which was former uh, you know, logistics and, and heavy uh, uh, industry, is, is now gone. We only have a few logistics left. You would see some containers, but they are moving out and they're moving away. All the big ferries has been moved away from the harbor area, uh, and actually the, the water is now so clean that we now have swim beds in the harbor area where people go swimming each summer now, and we're developing more and more. So all that land, this is more than five billion square meters of land that we have to develop. That is being developed right now, um, and, and it's being sold off, and what's happening is it's the, most of the Danish pension funds at the moment that are actually buying the land in order to develop that together with some entrepreneurs. Um, and that is a land that's going to be developed for residential, for office, and retail. So what they're focusing on is, is trying to make sure that we, only, that we not only get a, an office area, a new CBD area, but we actually get an area where you have um, life all day around, 24 hours a day. But I would imagine it's being master plans all this, is it? Well, it's being, to a certain degree, master plans, but but not totally. I mean, we have the local plans in some areas are ready. Some areas, they're not even ready yet. And, and the investors are then going in and working together with the municipality to figure out what are we going to do here and what, how are we going to do it. Um, but we also have land on, on AMA, uh, the Ørsteden, uh, that is still available. We also have actually um, about 100, 100 sorry, 250 square, 100 square meters that can be developed also in the middle of, basically in the middle of the city before Ørsten uh, on Amma. Uh, we have the whole uh, uh, beach area or along on the beach where you drive. I mean, Copenhagen Airport is only 20 minutes drive by taxi and uh, 10 minutes in, by metro uh, from, uh, from the city center. And all that area on Amma with all the land and the beach and everything is also being developed. Um, the driving forces are, is, of course, that Copenhagen with the, the whole uh, Ørsund region um, and has been changed quite a bit. Um, other driving forces is actually that um, now the government has gone in um, and actually decided to decrease the, the, uh, the tax, the corporate tax level. So we now get to 22%. Uh, which is very, very uh, good for us, <laughs> good news. Um, and we have a very high uh, number, actually, of international headquarters doing their, uh, for, for companies that does a lot of their research there. Our universities are fairly renowned, um, and a lot of international people are coming to Denmark, and they tend to stay and, 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 and work there for the rest of their lives. Um, it's a very metropolitan city, yet it is a very small city compared to some of the other uh, capitals in, in Europe. Um, but we have a very, very positive growth in the, in the Copenhagen area, um, and it's definitely something that will be focused upon even more. Did that answer your question?